Today we're going to be looking at two ways of getting information about your hard drives and their partitions. Um, one way is just using FDisk and the uh, L switch, which is should be on every system. Uh, so we're going to say sudo FDisk, and you do have to, I think you have to be root for this, I'm pretty sure. FDisk, we'll find out, I'll try doing it without root. Since we're not modifying the hard drives, we may not need sudo. But I'll say, uh, I'll give it one of my drives. So device SDA, which should be my first hard drive. Uh, yeah, so let's try sudo. So there we go. Sudo fdisk-l. It lists information. It tells you how big the drive is, uh, what partitions are on it, what type of partitions they are, um, information such as that. Great for some basic information. Let's see how we can list... Uh, all hard drives, and I guess, okay, uh, let me try something. I, I might mess this up, because, uh, but we'll try using uh, uh, asterisk there. Okay, using an asterisk will list, I guess, all your hard drives and partitions uh, like so. So you can do that. Um, but it doesn't give you all the information, it doesn't give you the labels for the hard drives, uh, and uh, that might become useful. And I have shown you in the past how to find labels of devices, but this is just one more way of doing it. And using a program, we'll say sudo blkid, we'll hit enter, and there we go, it tells you there's this, oops, I did not mean to grab that window, there's this partition, it has a UUID of this, and it's that type of partition, same with that, that, come down here, this one has a label, that's the label from my, uh, that's the ch the SD card from my digital camera, it's in a VFAT format, uh, and then I have my flip video camera, which is also in a VFAT, and there's the UID. Obviously, if there were labels for these drives, they'd be listed there as well. So that's a quick way to get the UID and the, or sorry, the UUID and the labels for different partitions, uh, well, th where those partitions are, and what type of partitions they are. Once again, that program is called BLKID, um, and if you man that, you can see that it has other information in there as well. So it does more than just that, but that's what we're going over today is just listing out that information. And uh, if you found this tutorial useful, I have plenty of others at my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tutorials on open source and programming and design. Um, and I hope that you find them useful. And if you do find them useful, um, you could help support my site. There is a donate button on my site um, that if you're able to, I ask that you think about giving a donation to my site. Uh, help uh, my site keep on going. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please at filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC or pound films by Chris on free node. Um, there should be a link to the description in that. So if you have questions, ask them there, not in the YouTube comments, please. They will not get answered if they are in the YouTube comments. Um, feel free to comment if you have comments, but questions should be directed to filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC. And uh, I hope that you come in there, join us. If you do have a question, don't come in, ask the question, leave. Ask the question, stick around, wait for an answer, uh, conversate with people, be a little social, Help uh, share what you know and learn what other people know and uh, just get involved in um, the community that is open source, which is uh, allows us to learn from one another rather than keeping all the secrets to ourselves. So once again, I hope that you have a great day and I look forward to making more videos for you. Have a great day.